Hey, what's up, y'all? Just wanted to share with you guys this project that I was commissioned to do by one of my clients. Uh, it's been a minute since I posted a video. Just been uh, going through a lot of business changes, and uh, wife and I are just going through the uh, new goals, new challenges thing. <laughs> so we're uh, just reinvesting into some new things and just going through all the business changes. So been pretty occupied with all that and you know plus all the um, parenting and just maintaining the business um, but yeah I usually always tell my clients that uh, you know whenever you start new goals just be prepared for the new challenges because you know you can't take your old self to uh, your new goals you gotta make changes in order for you to be aligned with some of your newer goals <clears throat> but yeah, I just wanted to break down this project and just let you know um, some of the process of it. I um, almost forgot to record this, so I didn't uh, record the or document the foundation of it. So I, I first started out with just some uh, the background, which is the lighter grays and all that stuff, and just loosely threw it around the canvas. I generally had an idea of like placement of the elephant, but didn't really know um, how I was going to go about it, but I knew that it wasn't going to take up um, the whole canvas, so just wanted to add some background fillers in there, so started out with the grays and then just threw some contrast in there with the blacks, and then later on you'll see me cut back with some of the lighter grays just to um, soften up those gray areas. Um, and then started laying down the foundation of the elephant, so just kind of sketched out uh, the outline of it just so I can see where placement is and just make sure the, like, um, the eyes and stuff like that would be accurate position. Normally I just get in there and start painting, but um, with time and all that I wanted to speed up the process, so I just sketched it out first. And here's just a time lapse of process. I can't even make time lapse videos for you guys anymore because it just goes by so quick. This canvas took me about 30 minutes, so um, it was just fun just laying it out and just slowly throwing the details. I usually start out just throwing down like some of the foundation and just get rid of some of the bold areas then I'll go back with the finer brush and start adding some of the finer detail <clears throat> but I don't, I don't have a uh, um, like a set way of how I approach a painting I just go with the flow and just see where it leads me to sometimes I'll get in there with finer detail and soften it up with a bigger brush or you know I'll block it all in with some of the contrast or midtones and work my way up to the highlights um, very rarely I'll start with the highlights just because I feel like the highlights just um, look better when you add them towards the end because sometimes it could be like less is more depending on what you're painting on but it's easier to balance that out when you do those last so I'll generally start um, with either the darker tones or mid tones just depends. If I have a better direction where I'm going, I'll just jump straight into the contrast and build my way up from the midtones to the highlights. But in this one, I kind of started out from the midtones. Uh, I think I added in a little bit of the contrast and just kind of went around in circles. Just, just went with the flow with this one. It's really fun. My client gave me a little bit more freedom than he normally does on these paintings. So I just kind of wild out, but. Um, I just like more loose textures and all that, so went a little bit more that direction on this one. Yeah, this one was a quickie. Just wanted to hear, throw up a quick video. It's been a while since I posted something. I'll be uh, posting a little bit more on, um, now that I'm starting to free up on some time. Yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next video.